Hey, just got done installing a ProTech alarm system from Trailer Alarms in our toy hauler and just wanted to take a few minutes and show you exactly how that install went. Um, really isn't too bad. It's a little bit different doing it on a toy hauler than, uh, let's say, a cargo trailer because you have a, a few more hurdles to jump through with running wires, um, but absolutely nothing too horrible at all. So we'll take just a few minutes and walk you through exactly what that entailed. Step one of installing the alarm was figuring out the best place to put the alarm system uh, head unit at. And for me, it actually worked best doing it in the front cabin uh, around where the bear bed is. So we just took everything out. And the reason that works out so well is, is number one, if you can see this port down here goes directly down to all your main wires. So it was really easy to get all the wires out um, and we had to run a lot of connections to the front of the trailer and I'll show that to you in just a minute um, and then one to the back to arm the door and we had a convenient place to mount the head unit as well wires are a little bit messy we'll definitely clean those up in a minute now one other good look uh, thing about mounting here is that it's actually close to the generator switch and some other accessories we have on the side of the bed so the toggle switch for the brake system just made sense to go there you can mount it right there. Um, don't have to worry about it getting hit on and off at any point, and it looks clean. Looks like it belongs there. For the wiring, one of the biggest concerns I had was actually doing the brakes and the um, lights. And you'll see, if yours is like mine, you can actually follow your seven pin plug back, and there's a junction box in here. And that had all the connectors for the lights and the, uh, the, the brakes right in there. And you could follow back from your, your safety switch. Uh, it was a little weird. Uh, the black was actually the positive for the brake on mine, but just using your voltmeter, you're able to uh, get to that and figure that out pretty easy. The other advantage, I showed you that porthole earlier. That actually leads down to a lot of these. So if you'll notice, there's not a lot of extra wires running that are visible running through here. We were able to use the existing flex loom. Um, you know, these two had to come out to the bottom of the junction. Apart from that, it looks pretty factory. So nobody's going to be able to come up here and go, what wire should I cut if I want to get into this? That was definitely a big advantage here. So another one of the challenges we had is on a lot of RVs, you've got an underlayer. So you've actually got something to help insulate and protect all your components. So we had to figure out how to work around that. You can see up here, if you've had any maintenance done to your trailer, what they'll do instead of taking this whole piece down is just cut a piece out, undo the bolts up front and fold that down so you have access. This piece right here, We'd already had some work done, so it was easy just to undo those bolts, pull this flap down, and it was actually right below um, the port that goes from the inside. So it was easy to run the wires down this conduit to the front. And you see this white wire up and show you. We're able to just run that down the side along some other additional accessories to make it nice and easy to get that wire ran. Now, getting that one up and through the cabin was a little bit of a challenge. And what I found on this RV is there's little gaps if you're looking for them. So, if you come up under here, we ran this back through. It's a little difficult to see, but you can see this wire here actually goes up uh, into the, um, I guess, this back piece. So, that snakes through the bumper. And I'll show you where that comes out. It's not perfectly hidden, but we'll put some flex loom around that and protect it. And then we're able to just tuck it back up behind this channel and fish it through there and connect it to the door pin. Um, so it's pretty well protected. A little bit of tape, a little bit of flex loom will actually finish hiding that out. The one thing I would say, if you have a toy hauler with one of these beds that goes up and down, Make sure you've got some clearance here um, so that you're not breaking this connector. So really wasn't too bad. It was pretty easy. Just took a little time to figure out how to run that wire the right way.